count it all joy when those when those clouds come again to count it all joy that is what God wants to see our faith God wants to see our faith that is what is important to, to God and that is why it is important that we follow God's process of seed time and harvest and so every time that we come here every time that we gather we have that opportunity we have that opportunity to be able to enter into God's process, to enter into His presence, to enter into that which He has instituted for us. And He says, just must plant the seed. You must plant the seed. Do you want to see the house? Then you must plant the seed. Do you want to see the car? Then you must plant the seed. Do you want to see the job? Then you must plant the seed. And a lot of times the seed is in other people's lives as well. Yeah. So we walk around and very many times we just planted the seed for ourselves. But the seed for ourselves is not just the only seed that God has spoken about. The seeds that you need to plant in other people's lives that will allow God to work in your life and in my life. Hallelujah. So I want you just to, to, this scripture needs to settle in us as well. One of those scriptures that where God speaks to us and He says to us, this is the process I've instituted, this is how it's going to work. And as, you, as we be faithful to that process, then God is blessed us, has blessed us. The pastor was teaching um, on a Friday night, is when you ask, you know that you have received. When you ask in line with this world, you know that you have received. So when we ask, we ask in line with God's will. We put God first in everything that we do. And then when we do that, then God blesses us. I think I said last week that uh, you ask for the Lamborghini. <laughs> and the Lamborghini will only really give you the ability to, to bring one other person to church. Whereas if you ask God for the minibus, God will probably give you that, that, that will give you anyway. Amen. 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 So, so it's key that we seek first His kingdom. It's key that we put God first in everything that we do and in everything um, that we think. See, so many times we, we bound up in this Lord I need, Lord I need, Lord I need that there's very little space for Lord. What do you What do you need? And I must be honest. This is something that I'm myself challenged with. That I myself have said to God. You know, whenever I approach you, I'm always Lord. I need, and and I want to change. I want to change. I also want to be different. And I'm, I've said to God, I want to. The first thing that needs to come out of my mouth needs to be, Lord, what is it that you need? Lord, let your kingdom come first. Thank you for waking me this morning so I may have another opportunity of doing your kingdom work. And after that, I thank you and I say, thank you for divine healing because by your stripes I am healed. And I say, thank you for divine prosperity because my God shall supply all my need through the Son Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So we need to try and get ourselves out of this mindset of Lord I need, Lord I need. That is why he says in Matthew 6 verse 32, for your heavenly father knows that you need all these things. He knows you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom and his righteousness and then all these things will be added to you. So I want to encourage you this morning to just seek God first. Put God first. Follow God's process, sow into His kingdom, and see how that He will make your blessing grow and how He will bless you. And I just want to, I, for me, it's like I wake up with the knowledge that I am blessed. When you wake up in the morning, when you open your eyes, just say, Thank you, Lord, because I am blessed. 
Thank you, Lord. Well, because you are blessed, I don't want you to wake up in the morning and say, Thank you, Lord, because Pastor Ralsi is blessed. <laughs> that will be a bad love. But thank God, because we are all blessed. You are blessed. Amen. And, and you will see God work in so many various areas of your life. The other thing I also want to, to share with you, we have this expectation of God that God is going to do a big thing. And yes, God is going to do a big thing. And God does do big things. But believe you me, each and every day, God does little things as well. And we need to be thankful for those little things as well. Especially those little things. Those little things is what carries us. What grows our faith. Because as we experience the little things, the, 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 I didn't have a meal, but someone came and gave me something. I didn't have um, something, and someone came and blessed me with it. I didn't know how I was going to get to church, and someone picked me up along the way, or they made a way for me to come to church. There, there are things that happen in our lives on a daily basis. Little things. We need to be looking at those little things, and those little things is what grows Grows our faith. Hallelujah. The process of God is sow the seed and you will harvest. And you will harvest. And so we, we just continue that. We continue that. Don't give up. Do not give up. Scripture I also used a week or two ago is God does not take delight when we draw back in our faith. We need our faith to be strong. We need to keep our faith up. We need to know that God is in control and that God has the answer no matter what the situation looks like. It is especially when the situation doesn't look good that our faith needs to be right there that we need to depend on God because that is when God is really working. That's when God's really working. So, as we bring our tithes and our offerings this morning, I thank God that we have that ability to do that. That is what I thank God. I had a job, and I thank God for that job. Because that job allows me to tie back to God what He has given me. Because everything that we have is from God. There is nothing that we can say, oh, this month I worked so much and now God I give no. God gave it to us. All we are doing is we are being obedient to His words. And we are tithing back the time. We are giving an offering. And God says in His word that He will He will open up the windows of heaven and He will pour down such a blessing that there will not be room enough for us to contain it. In the giving part, he says, give and it will be given to you good measure, press down, shake it again and run it over. There is always a measure beyond our understanding and beyond what we think. It's what God gives us. And so I thank God that we had that opportunity to be able to allow that process to happen through our giving. I thank you, you are blessed. Amen. 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 Amen.